How's it going, well nights? A somewhat positive day for the stock. We've jumped 7% on the day. Uh, obviously, that's on the back of the news that Mullen Automotive put out that they have, uh, I guess, made progress on their battery facility in California that they've been developing. Uh, now, based on what came out from the company, it sounds like we're still about a year off uh, being able to properly manufacture the battery packs, which is one of the company's goals. Obviously, for a company that um, produces EV vehicles, that's that's a positive. Uh, but obviously, we've had questions around whether that company might be around in one year's time. Um, still, it's a positive, uh, at the, and the stock has reacted as such. Um, but I think the fact that you know we we are looking at a company that is in a lot of financial difficulty, whether they can even make it to the next year um, or not is sort of being questioned. So I think that's why we got more of a, I guess, a tame sort of reaction from the stock. And seven percent isn't tame, but like it was, um, wasn't like a super exciting uh, movement for the stock, considering how much it's been down over the last you know two weeks. I'd say. Uh, yeah, so good news on the on the battery front, I suppose. Um, now, yesterday I was sort of speculating that you know the conditions are right for uh, you know a short squeeze for the stock in the sense that there was a high short interest of about twenty two percent, and the cost to borrow is eighty four percent. Now, based on Fintel, uh, though those numbers are still holding the same, so maybe their data hasn't been updated yet. But uh, I think really, given the overall climate that Marlon Automotive is navigating at the moment. I don't think a short squeeze is coming. Um, I could be wrong. I, I, you know, and I hope for those that are trying to get out of the stock, I could be wrong. Uh, but it just doesn't seem to have the momentum. There's no, there's no, there's not enough sort of broad retail interest in the stock to try and push the stock. There's so many people who have lost money and are kind of like just wiping their hands of the stock and you know have learned better than to. Um, do a dance with the devil david so i think we're not likely to see uh, any sort of push for a short squeeze but you know we might be pleasantly surprised uh yeah anyway um so i hope you, you guys found the today's jump positive uh if you thought that more should have come from such a news development let me know your thoughts in the comments about the um battery pack development uh and do you think the company's going to be able to be around in a year's time to be able to actually uh employ the 200 people they think will be needed to bring that facility to capacity um and is there a need for Mullen to bring that facility to capacity i'd love to love to know there's like we, i haven't really spoken much about um i guess the company's ambitions with uh you know producing battery packs obviously they want to do it for their vehicles but uh, i suppose given that <laughs> hasn't been a huge demand for their vehicles so far uh, maybe there is potential to sell it to other um, EV makers. Yeah, we'll make your batteries for you. But um, I'm not sure. I'm not so across the technicalities of it all. Maybe the battery packs are made specific to uh, vehicles. I imagine that might be something like that. Anyway, if you know more about that, the, the engineering of the side of it, let me know your thoughts in the comments below too. I'd love to hear from you guys. Anyway, um, I'll just keep trying to do little updates on the stock as the week progresses. Uh, not many people are doing it these days so you know i'll just keep it up i'm still you know pretty negative on where things are going at the moment but yeah some positive news today anyway um till next time may the markets trade in your favor cheers